Hey guys, Fishboy here, and welcome back to Fishboy's Island. Or, uh, I'm gonna start calling it Islands, but, uh, as you can see, I'm not anywhere... Doesn't seem like I'm anywhere near my island, and you'd be right. Um, but I am on a different island, and, uh... It's basically an island. I mean, it's just a very, very big island, and there's that nice little one over there, too. Now, first, uh, you may notice this building right here. Well, this start of a building. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, but first, I think I need to update you on a few things. So, I didn't record it, but we got the elytra and the dragon head and whatnot, and I'll show you what's down there in a minute. So, f let's... Let's have fun! Whee! <laughs> I've done this before, but it's, it never gets old. God, it's so fun. Whee! And I, as you can see, I got Unbreaking too. So, welcome to my new house. Oh, I'm surprised it didn't hurt me. But yeah, uh, it's not completely finished yet, but this is my new house, and we'll uh, put that back on. Um, so I'll give you a tour. Actually, first off, we'll show you my little farm here. Um, I kind of actually took this design, it was kind of inspired by like an old uh, Xbox 360 tutorial world. And as you can see, I got tons of chickens, cows, and mainly sheep. Because <laughs> uh, of that up there. Got sugarcane, carrots, potatoes, wheat. Eventually, eventually I'll have a... Uh, oh, did I say sugarcane? I don't remember. Um, yeah, we got sugarcane, eventually I'll put nether warts and like melons and pumpkins and stuff. But I'd have to extend it a little bit, I think. But anyway, so, and I got this cool little entrance here, so that's my my farm. And again, my house is not completely finished yet, but here is the entrance slash lobby. I might put, like, some kind of... Not really furniture, because this isn't a living room. But I don't know, I'll put something here. We'll, we'll think about it. I got these nice little bushes. Um, here is my living room. And here's... I got a parrot. I haven't named him yet, but there he is. Don't... Oh, wait, no, I don't think he can burn in that. Uh, I got a nice little couch here with a classic Minecraft fireplace. That's a little different. I, I added these instead and added a slab there instead of a full block, but still think it looks pretty nice. Over here is just kind of like a little hallway thing. Uh, here is my smelting room. It's kind of also a crafting room because as you can see, you know, I knew there was things like a stone cutter and like a smithing table in the game, obviously, but I actually had no idea that you can literally craft, like, the same amount of stone things for, like, way less resources. I thought a stone cutter was just, like, basically a crafting table for, for stone things. I was like, why wouldn't you just use a crafting table? I guess because it's slightly easier because you can just do this and then click and then boom. You don't, have to arrange, you don't have to arrange the things. But no, it literally, it does that and it gives you a discount. Uh, I didn't know that. So anyway, I gotta utilize the newer things more. I'm, I'm like I said, I, like I've said before, I'm definitely kind of an old school Minecraft player. But yeah, I've got a little the classic like stove thing with my smokers. I always think this little design looks nice. I really like this room actually. It looks kind of industrial. Got a clock there, um, just for fun. Got a little table, of course. You can chill in here. Here's the classic furnaces. As you can see, there's quite a bit of glass, and I've got much more to make. And uh, I got a nice little view here. Eventually I'll clear out most of that bamboo. And I've also got like on the shelf here some some chests with like, uh, you know, blocks that I'm going to smelt soon as you can see, and I'll put like, extra coal in here and whatnot. Don't have any right now though. Um, but yeah, that's that. Uh, here is my, here's another little like side entrance basically, which I think looks nice as I'm sure you saw that. Here is my bedroom. I got a little uh, wheat seed. It's kind of a reference to uh, <laughs> some of my really old Minecraft videos when I was a stupid, cringy child. Uh, maybe I still am. I don't know. But <laughs> I got some green. I always like this design with beds, like glowstone, glass, and carpet, and like matching the bed. I always think that looks nice. I got some music disc. Uh, one kind of. Uh, I mean, not really on accident. I I realized the situation. I was like, oh wait, kill him. And I got far. Uh, I got. I found two 13s. I just got rid of the other one because 13 is a terrible disc, and I'd only need one of them. Made a jukebox, of course. 
Got a little desk here, a little uh, plant, a little potted plant, the dandelion, which was is the same one that was in my old house. And now it rains so much. Is that a jungle thing? I don't know. It rains a ton. Got a nice little balcony here. I think every Minecraft room needs a balcony. Almost every Minecraft room. I've got... I want to put some, like, really... The thing is, again, I said I'm going to call this Fish Boys Islands instead of just Island now. Because there's a bunch of little islands and stuff. And uh, I'm going to put, like, cool-looking things around this whole area, too. Like, I'm going to have actual buildings. I've got, I've got some good plans. And uh, I've got a little gap here if I want to dive in the water. Like, as such. Whee! <laughs> um, so that's fun. And uh, now I will show you. I might still, like, put this birch all the way down here. As you can see, it's kind of... It's kind of, like, not the best looking right now. But again, it's still kind of a work in progress. Um, go away, zombie. <laughs> Anyway, now I will... See, so yeah, here's this little hallway. It's kind of just a cool little entranceway. I could open this, but I kind of... It's kind of cozier with a, a doorway. And I might, I'll might i probably put some a few more decorations throughout the house, too. And definitely some more stuff in here. Uh, I actually built this just today. We now have an upstairs with a cool little fish tank. I've got a puffer fish, a salmon, and a tropical fish in there. And here is my little brewing station. No potions in there yet. I have some potions downstairs in my chest room, which I will also show you. Um, and I, I think over here I'm going to have like a special little enchanting room. Uh, so that'll be cool, and I'll probably put some more decorative things around here and, and whatnot. I really like that, uh, that fish tank. It's very cool. And down here is what I was just talking about. This is my mass going to be very massive chest room. It already is pretty big. And uh, if I need to, I can extend it that way. So uh, this is kind of how I've worked out things. I've got stone here. So I'm planning to have... So this is all stone. And yes, I'm counting, like, quartz as stone. Basically anything hard goes in here. That's a block, <laughs> pretty much. So that this is going to be a stone chest. So is this, 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 and this. And if I need more, I can add four more double chests. And I think at that point, if I fill up, like, all ten of those double chests, then I probably won't need any more of that kind of material. Same exact thing with wood, minerals. As you can see, I went on another huge mining trip because I only had like 19 diamonds left. Got a ton more diamonds and iron and lapis and a bit of gold. Uh, got a bunch of dyes and stuff like that. Weapons. Got, uh, got this sword from um, the end city. And uh, also like a mending... Uh, mending iron leggings, which is kind of nice. Um, bunch of food, plants, and just other blocks. You get it. And uh, you can see all this purple stained glass here. And of course, if I can, if I need more chests for whatever reason or anything else, I can put it here. And here's my little trash can, my cactus trash can. I think every player needs a, a cactus trash can. And I'd say it's better and safer than lava, but lava works as, too, as, as well, of course. And here's, yeah, I suggest names for the parrot in the in the comments. This guy took like th probably 30 something seeds for me to, for him to be mine. It was ridiculous. Yeah, you can stay there. Um, and it is raining, so. It's storming actually, so we will sleep. And if we go over here, now we will get into more familiar uh, territory. Just a bit of ways across this uh, this ocean here. I can't. I love I love this raft. How you sit like on top of it. I mean, obviously you would based on the design, but it's like it's funny. I almost feel faster in a raft, maybe because it's like up higher slightly. But I don't know. I, I doubt it's actually faster. So I'm still in the process of moving everything, like all my items. I mean, I, I've moved most of my items to my new house way over there. Uh, but as you can see, the inside of this is pretty much empty. Um, still a few things down here, like my <laughs> enchanting table. Here's where my, uh, my trash can was. <laughs> but, um, eventually this, I think this whole building, because I mean, look at it, it's, like, it's alright, but it's, it's nothing crazy. But, th I think this uh, building will eventually be just completely gone. Um, and that is because, uh, this will be gone too as well. Eventually that will stay Frank's shop. 
Uh, my nether portal will be moved. As you can see, my original farm is also moved. But that is because I am turning this I this little island, Fishboy's original island, into like basically a a nature park. And it's gonna have Frank's gonna be like the, um, like the, the tour guide, I guess. He's not gonna be walking around, but you get it. He's he's the guy who owns this island, sorta. I mean, I'm the I'm the owner, but you get it. He he's the employee at the. He runs things around here, basically. And uh, it's gonna have several monuments, such as this. And I still have my bamboo <laughs> chest. Um, and I still need to get rid of my cocoa beans. But uh, this here is the Ender Dragon monument. Not to pay tribute to the Ender Dragon, because of course he's e he was evil. But, you know, just a showcase, because as you can see, I was pretty proud of this. We have a little showcase full of end banners. And uh, it's almost like a cathedral. I think it I'm really proud of this. I like it. And it displays basically what is left of the Ender Dragon in this cage, as well as his head way up there, and another banner, and just some fences for, for looks, and I just got these nice big windows, but yeah, I'm just, I'm really happy with this, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's basically just like a, a cool, like, monumental showcase of the, the dragon egg, and I, I quite like how it turned out, especially with this, this is all trapdoor, as you can see. Uh, I didn't come up with that design, but it, I think it looks very nice, and I'm very happy with this building. But yeah, here's the here's the sides of it. Uh, I think I I think I completely finished like pretty much all sides. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, this was almost all of this that you see right here was added by hand, just because it this place was not big enough. But uh, we got it done. It took me a little while. But yeah, that's the Ender Dragon monument building. <laughs> if you will. And also eventually, when I eventually defeat the Wither, we will also have probably a beacon here somewhere. I thought about putting it on the roof of that, but I think I want them to want it to be separate from the, the Ender Dragon building. I might put the beacon like up here and also have like a nice little like a uh, decorative thing around it. Or I might put the beacon where my house is. I feel like that would... I, I, it would be kind of a bit close, obviously, to the thing, to the that building. To the Ender Dragon building, but so I, I might put it up there, but it also would be nice to have something symbolizing where my original house was. So yeah, again, basically, this is just going to be turned into like a, a nature park, full of like monuments of, of my journey to uh to defeating the Ender Dragon, pretty much. And I guess it would be kind of cool to have like here's Fishboy's original house. But I mean, like I'm not obviously I'm not like a f I'm not like famous, but you get it. But yeah, eventually. I will cl clean a lot of this stuff up, as you can see. Like I said, I got rid of the farm, uh, got rid of a bunch of stuff. I changed the path back to, to like the path block, which I think looks a bit better, especially for a nature park. And yeah, eventually all these animals in this pen will not be here. And it's basically just going to be a very cool, like historical, like into this world Minecraft historical, um, like little park island, which I think will be really cool, and I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, that's that's everything that's changed over here. And uh, in the rest of this video, we will be working on what I showed you at the start, which is going to be in the Elytra Tower. So basically, I'm just building a really tall skyscraper that looks really cool, and it's kind of like end-themed, sort of looking, but um, just because like the blue and purple glass. So it's basically just a really tall skyscraper um, that is already on top of a, a small-ish mountain. And uh, I've actually calculated, I think with when I was on that mountain, I could get, I could fly the elytra from there almost to that original island. Um, but I think, like without the tower, but I think once this tower is done, uh, it'll be pretty much perfect to getting to, uh, and you can already see it a little bit right there. I don't have my spyglass, sadly, and I don't have Optifine, but yeah, from like here, you will be able to see it, the tower. That's how tall this thing is going to be. It's not ginormous, but it's pretty damn big. It's going to be 66 blocks tall, I've just, I have decided. So yeah, I think from, basically I'm going to have like a water elevator going to the top of the tower, and it's basically f for looks and f to fly the elytra. So yeah, from here, 
you can already see it a little bit. You'll be able, it'll be like probably about to there. I'm very much looking forward to it. But yeah, let's let's head on over and continue work, and I'll show you the basic uh, design of this thing. And just like a little island like that too, I'll add, probably add things throughout here and like another tropical little for looks island over there. I might leave it alone. I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, here is basically the basic design of it. I have a, a stained blue and purple glass, uh, as well as like glass pane, and I'll add that now actually. Uh, just going by like five by five, so five blue, five purple, and the same five blocks of like gray wool alternating like that. And so it's basically just going to repeat that pattern going all the way up to 66 blocks tall. And again, I'm going to have like this little, I'm, I'm very excited for this building. It looks so sick, but it's going to have like a, a perimeter of stone here. Uh, that's why I have the stone. I should have brought more, but <laughs> my calculations were very uh, incorrect. But yes, I'm very excited for this building. It's going to be so awesome. Okay, so now we have to figure out, I think it's shift. Um, okay, yeah, shift and shift and space to go up. Shift just, or just, yeah, you stop to let, to like, stop. <laughs> There's nothing. Scaffolding's so helpful, thank God. And you just, oh, you go space to go up by one and just, hold shift to go down. Like, you could always use dirt, of course, but this is so much easier. Like, god, thank you, Mojang. That is awesome. Look how high high up I am already. And it's just, you're just gonna be able to go straight to the top, fly all the way down anywhere, down to the house, just anywhere to the original island. It's gonna be so awesome. I am very excited for that. Oh yeah, um, I did bring some quartz, because I so just the front center and the back center is where uh, these quartz are going to be. I thought I was going to build this originally completely out of quartz mainly instead of just like, I mean, not I'm going to have glass too, but instead of the gray wool. But then I realized the gray wool looks way better. And also that would, you know, how, like quartz are like sandstone, like four quartz makes one block. So that would take so long. <laughs> so like, hell no, I'm not doing that. Um, but I, I'm glad I decided to use wool, because this looks, it's going to be way quicker, and I think it looks a lot better anyway. So yeah, it's basically just alternating between uh, blue and purple glass. So yeah, it's going to be, going to take a long time, but it'll be so worth it. <laughs> and uh, I won't, I'm not going to like build this vi this building like just how I am now in every video, because that would be you know pretty repetitive and, and boring. But uh, I will basically just do that for this video show you the basic idea um, and then I will update you as we go and then I will record like furnishing there won't be much furnishing because this building is mainly just for the elytra and for looks but um but you get the point point. and yeah like I said I'm planning to have a water like I said I'm planning to have a water elevator going all the way up and uh, a thing where you can just drop down and there's like one block one source block of water so you don't die obviously uh, to get down very fast and like, just water elevator is gonna be so much quicker than ladders. So, um, so yeah, that's that's the plan for this building. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think the the thing that's definitely gonna take the longest to get is all this uh, glass, and you can see all the flowers and tall grass over there because uh, that's where corn flowers spawn. So I've been taking bone meal and just going crazy, and I also need like I've also been collecting roses or poppies. Uh, for red dye so I can make the purple glass of course so I need blue dye uh, I've used a bit of lapis but I don't want to use all my lapis of course cause for because I need that for enchanting um, and uh, yeah so I've just it's gonna I need blue dye to make the obviously to make the blue glass and also to make the purple glass and I need to make a bunch of glass blocks and glass panes so it's a very ambitious project, but uh, I am up for the challenge, and I, th I think we can do it. I think I can do it, I guess. But yeah, I'm just, I'm so, I know I've said it a million times, but I'm so excited for this building. It's going to be quite epic. But yeah, also, um, on the Minecraft, I was going to make a video about the Minecraft mob vote. Um, and I did vote, I voted for the crab, but unfortunately... 
I mean, it's still, I still think it, it's a much better choice than the Penguin. I think the Penguin would definitely would have been the worst choice. Because, like, it can make your boat go faster. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> like, boats are already pretty fast. But, like, penguins are awesome. Everyone loves a penguin. But, but still, I think that definitely would have been the least useful choice. Um, but, yeah, the Armadillo one. So, Armad and, so, yeah, crab, armadillo, and penguin. All three awesome animals that I think everyone loves. But yeah, the armadillo is going to be added into Minecraft, so that'll be fun. So, dog armor will finally be a thing, which is which is helpful. But I think, I think definitely the crab claw with like the further building would have been more helpful. But oh well, not a big deal. But yeah, uh, like I said, I was I was gonna make a mob vote video and everything. I made a I made a thumbnail on everything, which I was pretty proud of. And I while I was making that thumbnail, I figured out how to like pixel by pixel uh, cut out things in like a uh, in Pixlr, I think that's how you say it, which is so helpful. That's going to be so so much better for thumbnails in the future. So my thumbnails are about to improve. Yes. Um, but yeah, then I realized the videos, the footage that I recorded of myself talking about the things and voting uh, didn't have any audio. My microphone just like stopped working in OBS for some reason. So yeah, before you record, always make sure your audio is working. <laughs> <laughs> which I did before I recording this, so that sucked, but hey, at least I learned something that will actually be very helpful for the future. Yeah, you gotta look on the bright side. <laughs>
actually really I really like this corner design of like just the the wool and the glass. I think that looks really nice. And it'll look really nice when it's like super super tall. But yeah, we are making as you can see, we are making great progress so far. <laughs> and my biggest fear is going really high and then and then finding out I made a mistake, but so I'm playing I'm paying a very close attention to that. Oh, this this is one of my favorite new tracks of like newer Minecraft tracks. Let's listen to that and look at this. Beautiful. It's so like relaxing. How? How? <laughs> Both at the same time. I say it's relaxing and then I have a crisis because like how is the moon and the sun visible at the same time? I don't think that's possible at all. No. Just look how high up we are already. Let's just take in this moment. Very nice. Okay, I think we made a very good amount of progress. I ran out of wall there, as you can see, but again, that's no can do. I can get some more easily, but look how high up we are already. We're just getting higher and higher. I mean, obviously, but look at this. Yes, I'm so ready. Well, let's have a uh, let's have one final fly. So yeah, uh, I will update you guys on the progress that I've made on this uh, this building as we go. And, uh, and yeah, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.